Oftentimes, evangelical Christians say, why are you talking too much politics? Why shouldn't you stick as a pastor with preaching the gospel? Uh, the irony is that uh, these questions are coming from a, a community that has very strong political views about Israel. Uh, and at the same time, in their own context, they have also very strong political views. Uh, a, uh, a church that oftentimes has American flag next to the uh, cross. But when we speak about the plight of our people, when we speak on justice, uh, when we protest the injustices of, for example, confiscation of land, uh, the discrimination law uh, that are against us, we are accused of being too uh, political. Uh, and in that sense, they really what the, what's happening is here is that they are trying to impose a certain theology uh, on us and they're trying to tell us what to think of, what to write about, what to speak about. And they simply uh, want us to talk about accepting Jesus, going to heaven and not to engage with any political and social issue unless, of course, it, it, it matches with their own political and social uh, issues. Uh, they want to impose a certain way of thinking on us. And with, with all due respect, uh, that is too colonial, uh, at least the way uh, I see it. As a pastor and as a theologian and as a follower of Christ who lives in this land, I believe that I have to speak about issues related to justice. I believe I have to speak about issues related to the gospel of Jesus Christ that tells us that God does not discriminate between people, that tells us that God loves all people uh, equally. Uh, I believe that the kingdom of God in compels us as Christians to address all issues that we face in our uh, societies. And here in Palestine, occupation is a very, very serious challenge. And as a church, we have to give biblical responses. So please don't tell me not to talk about these issues because these issues are crucial to our Christian message and Christian presence in this land.